Back in summer 1999, I was just an eight-year-old kid at the peak of his Lego and Star Wars fandom, and the two had not yet combined. When I discovered the Lego official magazine and ordered a subscription, it took a while to get there, because back in that day, things took a while when you ordered them. And when I got it, lo and behold, the very first thing on the cover for my first issue of Lego magazine was Star Wars. Now, 20 years later, LEGO is honoring the 20th anniversary of the LEGO Star Wars line, one of their longest running themes, with a line of LEGO Star Wars fan favorite sets. The first of which is the Imperial Dropship, based on a set from 2008. It's an improvement on the original one, and it's one of the few in this line that I don't really have any nostalgia for. 2008 was not a time when I was really buying very many Legos. It wasn't a set that was that appealing. And this one wasn't that appealing when I first saw it either. But upon building it and completing it, it's grown on me. It's a pretty nifty little ship. It's got a nice little troop drop function. Comes with three stormtroopers. And this is probably one of the best versions of the Lego stormtroopers out there. It's got full leg printing on the front torso on the back, and a great looking helmet. And then you also get a shadow stormtrooper. And then one of the highlights of it is this commemorative Han Solo, which comes with a plaque that's got the character name, Lego Star Wars 1999 through 2019, 20 years. And on the back, it also says 20 years Lego Star Wars. Now, I also opened with this set, the Obi-Wan Kenobi minifig polybag which features the same thing as Han Solo with the plaque in the back. And this one is a free gift with purchase with qualifying orders from the LEGO store and LEGO.com. The instructions also, besides telling you how to build the set, come with a little paragraph about the 20th anniversary. It shows the original set alongside the new one and some little interesting facts about it. And then it also shows you the other sets to collect and all the minifigures that come with this line. Now this is the first video of a series where I will open up the other 20th anniversary collection sets. I've got most of them other than I'm still on the fence about the Slave One. The original Slave One set was one of my favorites as a kid and since then I've gotten quite a few versions of it. So I'm really iffy on getting another one. But at this point it's the only one I'm missing. I kind of need the Leia to have the complete set because these all combine into a nice little display piece. So it's just a matter of kind of when at this point. But every other week I will still be doing an action figure unboxing. So tune in next week for one of those. And until then, happy hunting.